Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to say, first of all, Happy New Year's. I hope your new year, your year 2022 was amazing. If it wasn't, if it was a tough year, I hope it gets better this year. Because this year, things are going to change. What we're going to do is a New Year's resolution. I want you to think and think what you could do. I want you guys to think deep down inside and figure out what you want to do, what you want to achieve in year 2023. I know there's a lot of big YouTubers giving out tips, telling you what to do. But the thing is, what do you want to do? Do you want to be a millionaire? Then you got to grind. This is the year for you. Grind, learn business, get clients, get client, all the clientele, get partners. You can do it. If your news or resolution is to go back to your old job, not the best pay in the world, but you enjoyed it, you loved it, do that. New Year's resolutions are meant to improve us, not try to one up each other, but improve us and ourselves. I'm not going to lie. When I, I literally didn't click record earlier and I was just talking to the camera, it felt so natural and I wasn't recording. And I, I think I worded it perfectly in this video. I'm ending 2022 high as hell. I'm sorry. If you can't tell, I don't know if you can in the video. I'm not kind of sure how this video is going to end, but what I can tell you is 2023. 2023 is our years, guys. It's our year. So what's my goal? What I plan to achieve in 2023 are one of two things. I kind of want both of them. I actually, I really want both of them. But the thing is, you got to be realistic about these situations. If you set the expectations way too high, you're not going to achieve anything because your mind's going to be split up between two different places. If you set the bar medium level, so there's three levels. There's low bar, mid bar, high bar. If you aim high, they say aim for the sky, aim for Jupiter, whatever, a distant planet. You could aim for the sun, all I care. It's just when they say aim high, they're having you get high expectations. You're like, you know what? I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. And what happens? You're trying to schedule everything around work, around school, without any situation you have. You're trying to set it up. And with multiple situations that you're trying to achieve, multiple goals, you're bound to get so confused, so lost, so angry, that you're gonna just drop the other ones. You're like, you know what? I was trying to work on this video for an hour and it crashed. So you know what? I'm not going to do the next one. I'm not going to do this movie thing I want to work on because the video crashed and I had to redo every single piece of work I did. It was an hour long video just to record or edit like an editing situation. So that happens. So if you're trying to like my situation, I want my two is I want to work on my films. I want my film company up and going. Right. I need to get it going and continue working on my scripts. But doing that or working on my career as a YouTuber. The thing is, if I work on the film stuff, part of it's going to be posted on YouTube still. So it's kind of working my YouTube aspect, but I'm not really focusing straight on YouTube. I'm focusing purely on the film. Now, it's going to grow my YouTube channel probably. I won't really know because I won't be really paying attention to the analytics, but I'll be focusing on my films. I have three films in mind. It's amazing. Stay tuned if we go that route. The other route, keep the film stuff in mind. Write down any notes I get just so I won't forget in the next next year. But this, this one is focusing straight on YouTube. Don't really worry about the film stuff, any other stuff. Just purely YouTube and just keep posting constant content, constant like ideas just flowing through the mind, making it go around and around. But just focusing on YouTube and just working on like making videos with other people, scheduling everything YouTube based that you could think of that is the aspect of YouTube. Now there's two different growths there. One is a slower growth. The film is a slower growth. The YouTube is probably a quicker growth than the film because the film requires a major budget. YouTube, it's a lot less budget um, heavy. We're gonna choose one of those and we're gonna see which one, which goal we get in the morning. We'll have two goals right there. Now I'm only gonna do one of them. This year, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to start something different, right? I was watching this YouTuber. Um, if I find him, here he is. I'm, I'm high as shit right now, so I don't feel like looking. But this YouTuber <coughs> basically talked to a Navy SEAL. The Navy SEAL basically told him why he gets up at 4 in the morning. And that YouTuber is, also does that. He says why he gets up at 4 in the morning. Because you're more productive. So my goal is starting tomorrow. It's already 10, 17. It's not even New Year's yet. He was telling him that he gets up at 4 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, and starts his day. He goes, goes for a jog or a half an hour or workout. You could do whatever. I'm going to probably do workout because fuck the cold and the jog, jog at the gym. But he would work out 
head home, shower, get dressed, have breakfast, and then start being productive. What do I mean by start being productive? This is for you guys too. So this whole part that we're talking about, hopefully you guys do it with me, but I'm going to definitely try to do it. But what I'm going to do every single day that I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, I'm only going to give myself 4.30 to 5. You could wake up within that time period. It cannot be past that. Why are we doing that? Because we could be productive. Productive as in either working on my film stuff, um, like editing a clip or whatever, getting a partner, working on my website, emails, whatever work related for films or at least my film practicing editing just edit a bunch of random rock cuts trying to make it into a little movie see how that goes but the thing is just in general just working on my film stuff just getting that going the company up and going rolling learning business learning all that good stuff to get the company successful that is the productivity side that he was talking about working on emails whatever that gets you going your goal basically in life that's what that productivity is for now we all have work we all have a bunch of duties to do that's the nice part of this it's early in the morning no one's awake you're the only person probably in your whole neighborhood that's awake at that time nice it's peaceful the animals are probably going to wake up because you're going to go shower or go outside and jog whatever they're going to fall back asleep so they're going to be crashed out again it's literally peaceful. You're the only thing up at 4.30 in the morning. Now, with that being said, at the 4.30, of course, I, I usually, I think he said it gives me about two or three hours of just productivity time. It, it's going to vary, guys, depending when you work. But it does give you that extra time to get your life in order. Get you successful. Get you to the goal that you want to do in 2023. The main thing is you're going to make some goals as well in general. So, one of my goals is going to be get healthy, continue working out. I do have some um, a pull-up thing, and then I also have the cables, just going to the gym every single day. At least I, I kind of want to go to the gym at 4.30 in the morning. I'm kind of low on budget right now, so gas is a hefty thing. So I guess my workout right now, which is to eat the bands, and then when I wake up at 4.30, get dressed, drive to the gym, work out for about an hour or about 30 minutes, head back home, and then start to productivity that's the goal that's all i want to do the second goal is what i said earlier budget down right now so what i want to do is make a lot more money my goal is to make enough money so i could boil myself and still have enough for rent still have enough for whatever i could still have enough to spoil myself again it is possible with my job with my job it does allow me to make that much money i'm not using that to brag or nothing i'm just saying it's a commission job, so it's all commission. Commission jobs make a lot of money. I did really good when I first started, and then now I just, I gotten, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened to my drive. It just wasn't, it's gone now. But I wanna make a lot of money to where I could get a fat commission check and not have to worry about bills. I'm like, oh, this could cover literally four months of bills. Let me just put two months away and keep the other two months to play with and have hella money left over for savings and all that other stuff and pour it towards equipment not me joking money will fix about 90 percent of my problems i'm running dry guys i'm running real dry and i'm only telling you guys this just because you can see where i'm at in life and what my goal is i only have two real goals my health is part of this first goal choose a path my film or youtube my goal is choose a path and just grind learn my second goal hey kitty my second goal is to make more money and I, you guys are going to say you know what money's not everything Money isn't everything when it comes to emotional side, but psychologically, money helps you survive. Your brain sees money and sees you could buy food. You could buy a home, shelter. You're gonna die out there in the cold. But money does, does really matter. I know a lot of people don't talk about it, but money does really matter. And to make my life, my pug's life, my cat's life so much easier, it's just making more money at my job, working for it, grinding for it. Don't get lazy. Just grind, work, sell, grind, work, sell, grind, work, sell. Just got to get that mindset, make a lot more money so I can sit here and record this video, not stressing, talking about money when I'm thinking about how I'm going to finish paying off one of my, one of my loans. I have a loan payment due on the first. That's how dry I am. I literally went up in a thousand dollars within a couple of days of selling, of trying. I legit tried. And I made a grand. Now imagine if that was the last, it was the last few days of the month for that commission check that I'm going to get February. 
Imagine if I would, if I had that grind at the end of the month, if I'm, imagine if what I could have made, if I had that drive in the beginning of the month. So if I keep that drive, try to get as many customers as I can, see everyone as a sale, I can definitely make a lot of money, but I just got to focus. And what starts with the focus guys? I didn't realize I'm already at the 15 minute mark, but it's going to be edited, cut down. And I feel so confident. I feel so good because I'd done it a few times. I just never stuck to it. But you feel positive about the day. The day is more positive. You can have something shit happen to you. And you, the day is still good. It's like, you know what? That was a shitty situation. Whatever. It's done. I get it all the time with customers. But when you're in such a good mood, you've worked out. You feel confident. What I like wake, about waking up early in the morning, the reason why I stopped is because I got too high. But before I used, before I started smoking heavy, I would go to bed early, like literally 10 or 11 and occasional 12s, but I would wake up early as well. I would, some reason, and then after, for some reason, I started putting my alarm and it started working better. I would wake up at seven in the morning <coughs> or even eight. I would wake up at eight in the morning. I don't have to be back at work till 12. I use that time to be productive. The crazy thing is I could literally wake up early and just watch Netflix. I could be the laziest person in the world. Be just don't shower yet. Just grab a bunch of snacks, cereal, whatever, and just watch Netflix, YouTube, Hulu. I could just watch YouTube all that whole time. Waste of hours till 12. And I will still feel more productive than I would have if I would have slept in till 10 and then got up and showered and got ready for work. It's a weird mind concept because it makes you feel like, you know what? You already got something done in the morning. Why are you going to go home and watch YouTube? No, go home and do something else productive. It gets that mindset. Even if you wake up and do nothing, you feel productive because you're up and early and you got to watch your movie. You got to watch your show. It makes you feel productive because you are able to finish, an, finish a task, a task that you would have. Throughout the day, if you didn't get to finish it because you slept in. It's a weird mindset. I don't know. It works for me. Works for me. Once 4.30 hits, hop in the shower. Or not even shower. Just start working out. Just wake up. Work out real quick. 30 minutes. Get that pump going. Hop in the shower. After that. And then just start being productive. Come back. Be productive. But yeah, guys. So I've been talking for about... 20 minutes i thought this is gonna be a quick three minute video but no it's probably gonna be a 10 minute video of me just blabbering on but hey it works and i want you guys now i know i said it earlier i kind of said it rude i'm sorry but i want you guys now to comment down in the comment section below what your goals are like you heard my goals make more money work on one of the two tasks i want to complete and that is film and YouTube. One of those two tasks I could work on, but those are my goals. What's yours? And I know I said it's either one of the two tasks, but I'm already here, so might as well subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down in the comment section below what kind of video you guys want to see in the future and your goals for 2023, guys. It is currently 10.30 p.m. for me. Happy New Year's. Much love. And depending which video you're going to see, I guess I'll see you guys next video. Later, guys.